No, no, that's okay. It's okay. All our hearts skip a beat every once in a while. Well, mine is racing a mile a minute. Maybe we should let him rest for a little while? Yeah. No. Never. I've rested enough to last a lifetime. Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? I'm tired, but I feel so much better. Especially seeing all of you guys all dressed up. What's going on? Is it Sunday? I've lost track of time. What's... What is it? What's going on? It's Richard's funeral later on today. Oh. We thought we would go and pay our respects and okay. thank Richard for giving you his heart. Well, I need, I need to be there. No, 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 no. Mm. Not so soon after surgery, honey. He just lost his life. If he had died, then I wouldn't... Then you would have lost yours. We know that. And to a certain extent, it's true. But what you have to remember... Richard died because of an accident. And you were next on the list to receive a heart. You did not take that heart away from him. All right. Be right back. Okay. find out any more about your brother's death? I spoke to the technician in charge of Richard's life support. According to him, the ventilator was in perfect working order. So there was no reason for it to stop and then start again? None. Someone? Pulled the plug on my brother, exactly. One of the powers? To ensure their beloved Rick got a heart Do you know who? No. Anyone who could have done it would have gladly done it. Yeah, it. But you want me to get rid of him? No, no, no. I'll deal with him later. We've got some business to discuss, but just for your information, whenever you see those two together, heads up. Coming from San Cristobal for Richard's funeral. Wow. Your basic who's who, huh? Doesn't surprise me at all. What's going on in there, sweetheart? Just keep looking at that picture and thinking about how happy Cassie was. Reva, you did not cause that car accident. You did not put Richard in the hospital. Yeah, well, I let him die, though, didn't I? You did what he asked you to do. I did what he couldn't ask Cassie to do. Have you made a decision yet? Are you going to tell her? I have to tell her. But I just don't know when the right time is. I mean, first it was their wedding anniversary, and now he's... Funeral. Reva, I don't know that there will ever be a right time to tell her. But until I do, I'm going to have this huge weight on my shoulders. You want to protect your sister? Maybe. But maybe by not telling her, deep down I'm just protecting myself. Thank you. 
mostly be their own. Something's wrong. There's... Did you check the ventilator? Oh, I had it checked backward and forward. It's perfect, and there's backup for it. Someone turned it off. Well, I mean, what are, what are you saying? Like a mercy killer? Maybe. Well, well who, who would have done that? Someone in Richard's family? I don't know. When I walked into the room, Mel was in there, and Michelle was nearby. What, what, what do you think, one of them? I don't know. I mean, I don't even know why you're telling me this. I'm telling you this because I care about you, and I care about your family. And once I go to the hospital administrator, who knows? We, we have an idea where this will go. But you, have, you haven't spoken to anyone yet. No, but I will. Don't. Ed. Don't. I'm, please. Uh... Look, I know that I don't have any right to ask you this, but you've got to give me... You've got to give me some time. I mean, maybe till the end of the day, just so I can figure out what I'm going to do. All right. For you. But just till the end of the day, okay? I'm not interrupting. No, you but what are you doing up, Cassie? You were going to sleep in. Yeah, I was going to, and then I realized that I couldn't sleep, so... I don't think any of us got much sleep last night. Have you seen Tammy anywhere? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, she went out. She said there was something she needed to do. Did she say what? I think she needed some time alone. Yeah, this is really... hitting her hard. Will doesn't understand what's going on, and R.J. thinks that Richard's on a trip. What can we do to help? You guys have done plenty. Really, you're doing everything. Can I help you with that, whatever that is? No, um, this is this is some of Richard's things. You know, I couldn't sleep, so I went to the bureau. <laughs> okay, you didn't have to do that so soon. I know. I am. Um, I wanted to, and I think it helps, so... But look, these are some poems that Richard copied when he was a child. You should hold on to those. I read through this last night, you know, I just got lost in it. I kept thinking maybe there was something in here that I could read at the service. anything. Reva, I really, really wanted to ask you um, a favor. I was hoping that you could deliver Richard's eulogy for me. Sweetie, I don't really think that's appropriate. Oh, Reva, you know, I just, um, I, it would, it would just really mean so much to me. Please. Of course I will. No, no, you know what, I think it might be Alonzo, so I should... Hey, Alonzo. 
sorry, it's the other brother. I can't talk to you right now. Let's... I think you should, Cassie. And I think you'll be glad you did once you hear what I have to say. Edmund, you are not welcome here or wanted. I'm not leaving until I speak with Cassie. Give me five minutes, and if I'm not back, call the police. <laughs> why you're here. You want to come to Richard's funeral service. Richard was my brother. A fact you forgot when you failed to notify me of his death. You're right. I'm sorry. I should have called you. Thank you. Cassie, I know that San Cristobal will be well represented at Richard's funeral. But I want to be there as his brother, not as a member of the royal family. You know, you really weren't much of a brother, Edmund. I understand why you feel that way, Cassie. Really, I do. But I want to honor my brother, and I hope that you'll let me. You can come if you want. I'm not going to stop you. Thank you. Oh, Cassie, one more thing. Neither one of us had the opportunity to say goodbye to Richard. But maybe neither one of us would have had to. Maybe he'd still be here with us today if someone had not taken matters into their own hands. What are you talking about, Edmund? Richard's heart beats inside of Rick Bauer's body. A man who not so long ago was so desperately in need of a heart that I've begun to wonder how far someone might have gone to provide him with one. Wait a minute, you... you think... Richard was taken from us before his time, Cassie. Deliberately. can possibly express how I'm right no words can possibly express how I feel what can I possibly say Rick how can I, how can I possibly you say you don't this? have to do this right now I'm sure Cassie's not expecting anything from you especially today why don't you wait till you you're feeling better and then you can talk I don't want to wait person. that long her family just lost a husband and father, and ours gets to celebrate. Does that seem fair to you? Rick, I don't want you stressing out about this, okay? Rick? Hey. Tammy, hey. How long have you been here? Is your mom with you? I, I came by myself. I, I hope that's okay. That's fine. Um, c come on in, Tammy. Actually, Michelle and, and Mel were just leaving. Yeah, um... Yeah, just buzz the nurse if you need it. I'm glad you're alive. 